Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-December general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. I just heard... Um, did I do that? What's that from um, Family Matters? Steve Urkel. Oops, did I do that? I just heard that. That's very interesting. Oh, okay, okay. Got you. Okay, so let me tell you how this resonates. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song I heard was King of Sorrow by Sade. Um, Sade happens to be a Capricorn. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, and the visual. You also have these placements in your chart. If you are single, some of you guys can be meeting someone in Cap season, which is very quickly approaching. You guys know Capricorn season is December, January time frame, so the end of December okay, is when um, Capricorn season begins, and in the song, the part that stand out to me, I think she, her words were, just another day, nothing's ever good, I, I believe that's what it was said, if it's not, again, that's why I always give you guys the, um, the songs, because even if it's not, I heard what I heard for a reason, even if that's not the exact lyrics, that could be the same thing, just another day, nothing's ever good, and if you think about the King of Sorrow, and then with Steve Urkel, he said, oops, did I do that? It's like, if, if, this person has a pattern of like one mistake after another, after another, after another. And it's like, after a while, is, is it really still a mistake if you keep doing the same thing? Because if you think about it, if you ever watch Family Matters in that, he's, that's a catchphrase of his. Oops, did I do that? Well, you keep doing it. You keep doing it. So this is, this person may have a victim mentality, male or female. I know this no, name of the song is King of Sorrow, but it could be a male or female. Okay. And with the King of Sorrow, it's like, this is someone who is like, okay, just another day. Nothing's ever good. It's the same old thing. Same old two step. Going through the same cycle. It's like, well, if you keep going through the same cycle, it's you. Not everybody else. It's you. And the message that I heard with that is that some of you guys may be connected to someone who is currently very weighed down with life. And they're telling you to be mindful about not letting yourself be weighed down too. Because you could be a martyr of sorts or you could be like, an I'm definitely feeling like a lot of y'all could be empaths. And it's like this person is going through things and it's pulling you down energetically. And then also, some of you guys gonna have to just keep it funky with somebody and let them know, like, you know what? If you keep going through the same stuff over and over again, it ain't no accident. This is becoming intentional. This is becoming habit forming. You gotta cut the shit. You know, I'm getting that also. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the sun. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we will get clarifiers for those cards. Currently at the bottom of the deck. Okay, hello. Y'all watching what I'm doing. I can't make this up. Uh, you got the Ten of Wands, King of Sorrow. I'm going to tell you why he the King of Sorrow, because who told you to carry that shit? Put it down, beloved. Put it down. You know, this is who's walking forward. You want to move forward in life, but you keep carrying the things that are weighing you down. Anything behind you is supposed to be left behind. Why is he carrying it into his future? Now, keep in mind with these reasons, you also can reverse it. This could be you, because this Wands, that could be you, okay? Or you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign. Uh-oh, like I said, hello? I said Sade the singer is a Capricorn. You got the devil here that's Capricorn, but also I'm going to say again, somebody is allowing themselves to be a part of the circus. You see how they're dancing with the devil? So somebody's allowing themselves to be a part of that circus here. Huh. Um, being tempted, the devil's temptation. Ooh, watch her orchestration. Ooh, somebody is going through some orchestrated events in their life, but it's heavy. And I feel like, you know, you could be like sucked into that. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands, fast forward communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Um, a lot of things could be hitting somebody all at once. The emotions and the feelings could be hitting you all at once. Some of you guys could also be August. Specifically, the messages may resonate with August Leos, or you have a strong eight in your birthday, eighth, the eighteenth, twenty-eighth. Someone could be born in nineteen eighty-eight. You could be also born in nineteen eighties. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the um the sun for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, individuals. It's going to happen soon. For some of you guys, something's going to happen within the next eight days. You may hear something about something that some this person is going through. Okay? Right in front of you, you have the two of swords. Yeah. It's like this person, king of sorrow. Look at that. Gloomy. Swords down. Sword up is yes. Sword down is no. Okay? So this person is going through stuff. I feel like they're not even telling you the truth, all the details about what they're going through also. For some of y'all, this person is going through money matters or money issues. This is their fault. He's deceitful. Look at those eyes. Deceitful, sneaky. So that's why I said, pay attention to the eyes. When this person talks to you, pay attention to the eyes. 
don't listen to the words. Source, communication, mental words. Pay attention to the eyes. The eyes, I always tell you guys, the gateway to the soul. Okay? Remember, we just had that devil. If you go back in the video, the devil, his eyes, you couldn't see his eyes. Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. This person is always falling out with people because they're being sneaky. They're being sneaky. They're being manipulative. I, I really do feel like they could possibly owe people, multiple people money. Okay? Or they have some type of debt. Maxing out their credit cards or, you know, not paying things on time. A lot of I owe you business going on here. Page of swords. This person could be emotionally or mentally immature. Again, swords, communication, and mental. This person is immature. And I'm going to say again, a lot of you guys, you're going to have to step. Look at that leg stepping out. You want to tell this person what it is. You, a lot of you guys are going to have to tell this person, cut the bullshit. That's a sword. Cut the bullshit. You know, they may even say something that may piss you off. But see, he's red. Hot. He red. Look at his face. Ready to take off and say something. You guys definitely could have not been saying anything to this person because you didn't want to know. Uh, or you didn't see all the details, so you didn't want to address something. But for some of you guys, you're going to find out. It could even be people coming to you and telling you, like, oh, this person did this, and this person owes me that. Or you're seeing something on social media. That's going to clarify for the Two of Swords. Knight of Cups. It's very charming. This person can come off as very charming. And this is why they've been able to get away with the things they've been able to get away with. Could be a water sign. Can't spice Scorpio. Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. Either way it goes, they're on some type of journey. And I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> so you have the five of wands, and then you get the five of swords. This person, something's changing. Fives in numerology is changes, but something has to change with this person and with this connection. Or Rose, you are going to get caught up in their crosshairs and their energetic crosshairs. That's for sure. Bottom of the deck, okay? The world card travel is for a movement. There's your energy, Leo. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. For some of you all, you cannot see yourself. Her eyes are covered. You can't see yourself leaving this person's side. Again, this person could be a king of sorrow, queen of sorrow. This person is always a victim. So you can't see yourself leaving this person's side because the reverse is not going anywhere. You guys are here. You're with their shenanigans, not even intentionally. Because again, I'm going to say, some of you guys don't see the truth about something. But this person is holding back things because the Four of Pentacles is holding on for their life and also withholding greed. This for a lot of you all, this person's issue is greed. Some of you guys are also dealing with Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I did say Capricorn with the mate with that um that artist. Some of you guys, this person definitely got strong Capricorn in their chart. Let's get a clarify for the two of swords. Clarify for the two of swords for Leo, Summer, Rise, and Venus. I said the King of Sorrow, and then you got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cups is your emotions and feelings, and sorrow is definitely an emotion. So somebody is not very um. They're not grounded. They're not aligned. Because see, upright, her feet are on the ground in reverse. Somebody's not grounded right now. They're in their feelings big time. They don't know how to express it because the swords are down. They don't know how to express it. They don't know how to communicate or verbalize it. And it's like this person is always going to be a victim. Kings and queens in reverse. They have been stripped of their title, stripped of their throne, made to feel small, devalued. Somebody's going through it. Somebody is going through it. Hangman. They feel like they're always stuck. The hangman is always stuck. That's the major comment, so that's a definite. That's going to clarify it for the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, you see how that flipped around? And I'm going to slide it so you guys can see. I'm going to pick it up how it landed. You're going to find out the truth about something. You're going to find out the truth about what this person has been hiding. You got Virgo energy here with the Hermit. You're going to find out the truth about what this person has been hiding. And I also feel like you're going to have to let this person know. You have to, <laughs> Some of you guys are going to have to sock it to this person, but you haven't. Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and victory. You're going to find out that this person has not been truthful with you about why they're going through what they're going through. And then for a long time, a lot of you all didn't speak on something because you may have felt like it's something that I'm not seeing. It's something that this person is not showing me. Again, look at those eyes. Very sneaky, very manipulative. You're right. If your gut feeling has been telling you, like it's something this person hasn't been telling me or showing me, they haven't. You're going to find out. Some of you guys could have found out in Virgo season, August, September time frame. And it could be coming to the light now because, um, you know, something else may be coming to the surface. You get what I'm saying? Like, you may be putting two and two together. You got two swords here. You may be putting two and two together. And like, okay, this happened at this time. And now, all of a sudden, we're going through this again. This is this person's problem, not mine. This person likes to push it off and say, well, I was going to do this, but I couldn't because that person said this and that person said that. Uh-uh. That ain't got nothing to do with nobody else but you. So this person is causing their own downfall is what I'm getting. And I feel like you guys are going to find out about it. And I feel like very soon, possibly within the next eight days, okay? So Leo, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.